friends, it's Sigrid and I am back to unbox my monthly Once Upon a Book Club YA as well as the adult box. Um, this is like one of my favorite book boxes because it got me into reading. Um, the way that it works is that throughout each of your books you um, see like little post-it notes and that is when you're supposed to open your gifts. I do this all the time on my channel where I unbox it for people who want to live vicariously or who can't afford this box or just want to know what the gifts are but don't want to buy the box i do this for you guys um this box is amazing and i would say that if you guys ever thought about getting a book box and you want to fully feel like you're immersed in the book and feel the emotions i just don't hesitate to get this one this is a really amazing my personal favorite is the ya boxes because the the adult box tend to be more historical fiction which is not something that i am always fond of but the ya like i love ya it doesn't matter what type it is unless it's historical fiction um but yeah um if you guys are interested i do have a code feel free to use black elwood's 10 um, that will save you 10% off of your order. Anything that you order, um, you can save 10% off. Um, so full disclaimer, I do get five bucks every time someone uses my code and I just use that to continue to get this box so that I can unbox it on my channel. So, um, let's get started. I'm going to open the adult box, but also I want to mention that the YA box is wrapped in this pink wrapping, so I'm excited to get to that, but let's see what is in this one first. There's an update. So they sent out an email today, and I just want to mention that uh, there's two updates. So first, the price is going up by five bucks. Um, so I think it was like $44 with shipping. Now it's going to be $49. However, it's going to be free shipping now, so that is pretty cool. Um, it's because shipping increases every year for them and they've been having to eat the cost and now with the prices of the gifts going up it's they can't do it. Another thing that they are changing is that they're changing from being a monthly box as in April, May, June, July kind of thing and they're going by themes. So for me instead of doing the months saying June I'm going to just go by the themes because you know just to be respectful for them changing the rules um but yeah that is the end of my announcement so i am seeing that they have changed over to putting all of the paper products in a plastic sleeve which i am a huge fan of like i really hate having to search for all this stuff i like that it's it's just here in one organized heat that i can just show you guys all right so the first thing i'm seeing is a bookmark that says not to open your gifts until you read the book um, and there's also a quote on the back side that says, There wasn't much a woman could possess in this world, but we could surely keep our wits about us. Sounds like a historical fiction. Alright, so I'm seeing a letter from the author here. Um, and on the back side is that same quote. I am seeing a signed name plate. I am seeing this, uh, it's like a promotion for this book. Um... I don't think it's free. I think it's just kind of saying this book is available on Amazon. Okay, so we get our book club kit. So this is the book that comes inside. It's called The Betting Woman. Um, so inside of the book club kit, there's a conversation with the author. Um, so you get to kind of see what she says. Her thoughts is like writing the book. And on this side, there's discussion questions. So this is not just a book box, this is a book club. So we do have discussions. You would just go to their Facebook group and you can kind of like respond to these questions and see what other people are saying um, and feel how they feel about the books. And then down here, uh, we get to see that there's four gifts and these are the page numbers. Here is the book. It is a paperback. It's called A Betting Woman. Um, this is by Jenny Walsh. Okay, so here's what it's about. Born to mold jewels, reinvented as Eleanor Dumont, and largely remembered as Madame Mustache, down to her last dollar and facing some unsavory options, Eleanor quick wits her way to a gambling table where she begins to deal Ving Ting Ong, modern day blackjack. But the boom and bust of the gold rush stops for no one, nor do the challenges of a man's world. Eleanor learns she must fight for her livelihood, her self-worth, and most of all, for her legacy. Cute. Alright, so let's look at the gifts. So we have a page 218. We have a page 39. 
we have a page 197 and a page 75. His smile showed a blacking tooth. Play with you? I wished for gloves as I palmed the deck. Do you see anyone else sitting here, Monsieur, brandishing a set of cards? Okay, so I'm thinking that this is going to be a deck of cards, and it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's a deck of cards. Yep, a deck of cards. So here they are, pretty cool. Maybe I should open it. Oh, that is so cool. I am so glad that I opened them. They're black with like blue. Oh wow, that is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look, it's pink. Okay, it's gold, I can't see. Oh my gosh, these are like really beautiful cards. I am so glad that I opened this up. So some of them are gold, some of them are blue cards. That is so pretty. Okay, so I am definitely, as you guys can tell, I am definitely a fan of the cards. So I learned how to play blackjack or 21, whatever you guys wanna call it. I learned how to play that as a kid. It's the only gambling game that I know how to play, so. <laughs> the next gift is page 75. I brought my gaze back to him as he worked. He had leaned closer to me, a glow on his cheeks. He straightened again, then stood. Well, he finessed one spot more, then turned the canvas around. So obviously this is going to be like some type of picture. Um, I'm sure that it would probably have like some type of sentimental value if you read the book. All right, so here it is. I just realized like if the box is like really, um, super expensive for you and you guys know that you don't want to like pay for the book but you still want to kind of experience like opening the gifts what you could do is like get the book and then watch the vid like watch my video and see me unboxing them like just kind of like rewind or whatever whenever you make it to a certain page that would be pretty fun and it's like I feel like it's the same thing maybe I don't know all right so the next gift is on page 197 he began smirking halfway through my explanation. Well, please, Madame Dumont, don't let me stand in your way. In that moment, I felt as if no one could. I rolled the dice. It was clear my mountain men enjoyed chuckaluck, but it was my Ving Ting Ung that they loved, that they asked for, not by his giving name, as they endlessly butchered the pronunciation, but by the Americanized 21. It was within this game, though, where they felt in control. They couldn't affect which card they received more than they could influence the weather, but they could ask for another card, or they could stop me from giving them another. I don't know what this gift could be, you guys. Um, I'm a little confused, because it it, it, it looks like a puzzle, So I, and I'm hearing something move, so I'm thinking it could be like a jigsaw puzzle of, like, maybe the scene. Okay, so I am... <laughs> this is new. So, so it says, try your luck, chuck a luck, 1849. Oh, it's a game. Oh, it's a whole game, you guys. So I guess here are the, the instructions here. And it comes with different things over here. So it comes with three dies up here. And then I guess in this these little holes here, we have like these little like wooden coins and we get quite a few of them and the coins say chuck a luck hope you guys can see that yeah it says chuck a luck and then inside here we have like this little container i don't know what you would be doing in there and then finally, it looks like we have like a little mat, so I'm sure that this would probably be where you would play the game at. Oh, that is cute. It looks like, oh wow. It looks like a little like table. Like, you know how the table looks at the casino? That is so cute. Like, this is like so unique. So I am, I'm, I'm super happy about this. Like, so this is the last gift. It is page 218. The hair on Gerald's face was stuck between clean shaven and a beard. He reeked of alcohol, the smell even greater than the nearby livestock. His clothing was the same as the evening before. I'd put him in his 40s, but he wasn't aging well. Well, dang. Bonjour. I did not break stride. However, I twisted my 
parasol to my other side to keep an eye on him. So I don't know what a parasol is, um, but I think that this is that. Um, so we're about to find out what a parasol is. Okay, so it looks like an umbrella. And it's a cute like little like polka dot color. This is cute, yeah, it's definitely an umbrella. Um, so I guess we all know like how an umbrella would look. Um, I don't want to open it because where I'm from there's like this superstition that if you open an umbrella in, in the house or indoors, it's like that look. Have you guys ever heard of that? So I, I don't want to do it, but it's a polka dot umbrella. Um, that's cute. I, I really like that. I really, I feel like you can't really have that many umbrellas. And I like to have one inside the house and one inside my car. Just, you know, you never know when the rain is going to hit you. Um, I would say my favorite gift was the playing cards, which is crazy because, like, normally I'm just like, eh, you know, I don't even play, like, like, I never play with the playing cards, but those were, like, so beautiful that I'm like, I want to, like, play something. Like, what can I play with those playing cards? Because they're beautiful and I want people to see them. Like, they're gorgeous. Um, and then, like, my next favorite would be the umbrella because, like, it's a whole umbrella. Like, you can't get upset about that. Okay, so overall, I would say that the adult box was a thumbs up. I, I really liked it. No complaints. Okay, so next up is the YA box, and I want to see why it is wrapped in this pink stuff. Okay, so here's why. We have a gift on the outside. And then we have our traditional green box. So we have our little uh, plastic sleeve with all of the goodies inside. Yes, yeah, so this is the signed nameplate. It's a little different than normal. We have our trusty do not open your gifts bookmark that has a quote on the back that says, if you always give, you'll always have. Oh, well, that's a cute saying. And then we have our book club kit. And as you can see, the book is called Luck of the Titanic by Stacey Lee. So inside we have a conversation with Stacey Lee. And then we have the discussion questions. The first gift is page four. I love when they start early because it makes me more excited to read it because I don't have to read far to get my first gift. Um, the next gift is page 87. Okay, so... I'm a little confused because it says that there's supposed to be a gift on 250, but there's nothing in it, but there was a feather here. So I'm just gonna assume that that was like a printing error. Okay, so let's move on. Um, the last gift would be 310, which looks like matchsticks. All right, so let's see what this book is about. Valora Luck has two things, a ticket for the biggest and most luxurious ocean liner in the world and a dream of leaving in England behind and making a life for herself as a circus performer in New York. Much to her surprise though, she's turned away at the gangway apparently. Chinese people aren't allowed into America, but Val has to get on that ship. Her twin brother Jamie, who has spent two long years at sea, is on board and is an influential circus owner. Thankfully, there's not much a trained acrobat like Val can't overcome when she puts her mind to it. As a stowaway, Val should keep her head down and stay out of sight, but the clock is ticking and she has just seven days as the ship makes its way across the Atlantic to find Jamie, audition for the circus owner, and convince him to help get them both into America. Then one night, the unthinkable happens, and suddenly, Val's dream of a new life are crushed under the weight of the only thing that matters, survival. Oh, it's the Titanic, the Titanic crash. Oh, whoa, that is pretty cool. Not that it crashed, but like, it's cool that this is a, like a historical fiction that I'm like really interested in. Wow, okay. All right, so let's see what is gift number one on page four. Oh, you guys look, inside there's a map of the Titanic. Boss started training Jamie and me in the acrobatic arts as soon as he could walk. Sometime our acts were the only thing putting food on the table. The severe officer watches me pull my ticket from my velvet handbag. I actually really hope that it's a handbag. Like, I don't know. It has to be a handbag, right? It can't be the ticket. Oh my god, it's so cute! 
Oh my god, it's freaking cute. Oh my god, you guys. Look, it is cute. Oh my. Imagine, oh my, yes. It looks so fancy. And there's something inside. Ooh. Okay, so. Oh, this is like a giant version of their ticket. Maybe like back in the day, tickets were like huge. Oh, and then it has gold. Oh my God, you guys, this is gonna be so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to wear this. So like it would have like, oh my God, so cute. I am so glad that this is this because like when I saw, when I first saw it, I was like, this is going to be a painting that I don't want or like some type of like artsy thing. And, oh, it's so bad. Okay, so, so far this already has like made me forgot about the adult book. This is why I said if I had to choose between the adult box and the YA box, it's the YA box. The book is better and the first gift just knocked it out the park. Okay, so the next gift is 87. Even worse than wearing men's boots with an elegant dress would be wearing pumps with Jamie's sea slops. I look for something in which to carry my boots. In the wardrobe, I find a canvas bag stitched with the White Star logo containing a pair of black velvet slippers and a pair of white ones. So either it's going to be the canvas bag or the slippers, and I'm really fingers crossed that it's the slippers. Who? it's both of them, it's both of them. So we have the white canvas bag that says White Star Line, okay. Look at them and their attention to detail. Oh, you guys. Okay, if I have to compare both boxes, it's this one. This box wins. I, I, I do know that these are like super probably cheap, but like, come on, like they're slippers. Like when do you get slippers in a book box? This is my first time ever getting slippers in a book box. I don't think I've ever gotten slippers. Even though they're very cheap. They're very cheap. But I'm happy. I can't, like, yes. And like, think, imagine like reading this book and like talking about slippers and like, you, you, you see the slippers that have the same logo. Like, you are the main character. Like, let's just hope they have a happy ending because it is the Titanic. So we know how that ends. All right, and the last gift is page 310. A sliver of a smile appears on his face, sears itself into my heart. T taking the wooden well from my pocket, I pressed it into his fingers. Return it to me. I will. Oh, you guys, that seemed like it was going to be... That seems like it's a, an emotional kind of thing where it's like you're probably tearing up at this point. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little figurine of a well. That's... I feel like it, it would probably, once I read the book, it's going to, like, I'm probably going to love this well, but right now I'm like, eh. It looks like we got three gifts in this box, um, because 250 did not have a gift on it. Yeah, 250 gift is missing. The post-it is not even in the book. I will say I love this box, but I think that I might need to reach out the customer service because... I don't have a gift on 250, so um, I'll have to see what that is about. I do like this box better than the adult box, even though the adult box came with four gifts. Um, it's just I love the book so far, like, and I really am like not a lover of historical fantasy or historical fiction, but like I, I really do have a fascination with the Titanic. Like, I'll watch those, like anything that dealing with that. But um, yeah. Um, and then everything was pretty cool except for the well gift but I think once I read the book I'm probably going to like it yeah so that is everything that came in this I'm not gonna say this month that is everything I will have to figure out what the theme is and you guys will see it in my description because I'm no longer putting months so um, that is everything for this these boxes I don't know how to say it now like it's weird I'm, I'm gonna get better all right, so that is everything that I have for you guys today in this video. Feel free to check out my other videos. And if you're thinking about getting this box, don't forget to use my code BLACKELLWOODS10 to save 10% on anything that you want to buy on that website. Um, 
yeah until next time i will see you guys later bye